Hey guys, so I had a month long break from work and uh, wasn't planning to travel at all because uh, it sounded troublesome. But a few of my friends told me that it's quite straightforward these days depending on where you're going. And I thought it has been a while since Eva and I last travelled. So we decided to go to Melbourne for a week because the process seemed simple enough. And for me, one of the things that I look forward the most is just being able to step on board plane again. We chose an Airbnb at South Bank, which is located pretty close to the city centre. I do like our place a lot. It is spacious, and has a nice balcony that, you know, you can just sit there and really take in the city view. I also love the weather there. It's the start of autumn. It can be a bit cold when the wind is blowing, but otherwise, I have to say it feels so good to be somewhere cold. We visited a few markets, walked along the streets, and yeah, as you can see, it seems like COVID is like cancelled there already. It was a little awkward at the start to, you know, walk around without your mask, both indoor and outdoor. But I did get used to it, and uh, I have to say, it does feel pretty liberating. But for me, I think where Melbourne really shines is when you drive out to see nature. We took a day trip to visit the Child of Apostles via the Great Ocean Road. And uh, along the way, we stopped by a few locations. The roads can be rather windy at times but overall it is pretty relaxing as compared to the city where you have so many cars, you have the hook turns to deal with and yeah, it can be quite stressful I have to say. If you are like us, uh, wanting to drive to the Child of Apostles while stopping by a few places, I would recommend you to take a you know two day one night trip with a stay over at Port Campbell or somewhere nearby, so that you know you don't have to drive for like eight to ten hours within the same day, which is what we did. For one of the other days, we actually drove down to Cape Shank. Uh, it's pronounced Shank, but as you can see, it looks like the word snack. I don't know why is it called Shank. Okay, I'm not cultured. But there's a trail there that brings you out closer to the sea and to the cliffs. Uh, this trail is really nice to walk on. Uh, even the trail itself, it looks really scenic. In our way back, we actually drove along the coast uh, and uh, we visited a few towns along the way where we you know, stopped by and chill and had lunch. I do highly recommend uh, people visiting Melbourne to take a day trip to Cape Shank. If you are intimidated by the Great Ocean Road, this is a good place to start with. I'm also really grateful to be able to catch up with some of my friends when I visited Melbourne. I know many of us are really looking forward to travel soon with you know Singapore opening up. I hope this video will give you guys some confidence to you know start planning for a trip. For myself, I'm also excited 
to possibly make another season of Ken in Japan really soon. So yep, that's it from me. Uh, I'll end off this video with a drone montage. Hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one really soon. Bye!